Hi everyone. Let's say in your Power Apps you want to show the department of the user. Uh, user could be the one that uh, has signed in or it could be any user by email that you type. So for example, here's a screenshot of a very simple app that I created for my testing. Uh, I just type the email address of the user and I find out the display name, the name of the email, the user with this email and what department this person is in. It's a very simple app. Uh, you might think that, hey, it's, this information is coming from Active Directory, so you might have to do some custom connector or do something more fancy, but uh, you don't need to do all that. I know I also did a video earlier where I talked about finding user information from Active Directory using, cust uh, using custom connector uh, because many of the Active Directory information is in Graph API of Microsoft. Um, you don't need to do that for these simple things. There are some use cases, there are some scenarios for which you will need to go to Graph API. So you will need custom connector, but for simple requirements like department and some more that I will show you in this video, you don't need to do that complex thing. It should be very simple one minute uh, work for you to display this information. So let me show you. Uh, so here's one app that I created uh, for as preparation of this. So as you can see here, whoever is signed in, we can find the department information of this user. And here's another screen, whatever you type uh, as the email of the user, uh, this app goes and finds the username and the department. So for example, if I say this, it finds the display name of this user and the department. If I change it, I find something else. So that's how it's simple. In this video, I'll show you how to do it. So for us to do that, let's create a very simple app. So let's start a new app from scratch um, so that you can see step by step, how do I do it? So I go to blank app and uh, in this blank app, I'm first gonna insert a label and let's first do the first part, which is showing you something like this, what is the name of the user who signed in and what's their department. So let's go to this app. Right now there's just some label which says text and I'm gonna make it more dynamic. So let me replace this with a text which says hello and let's greet this user with the name, display name of the user. So all I will do is concatenate the string uh, if you don't know how to concatenate the string in Power Apps, you can see some of my intro videos. I cover these basic concepts there. So hello, and then what's the name of the user who signed in? For getting that, it's very simple. There's an inbuilt object in Power Apps called user. Remember to put the parenthesis. And now you get three useful information. We need full name, so I'll just use full name. So. Power Apps takes some time to process it. And now you have, hello, the name of the user who signed in. And I need to now concatenate this with saying something like your department is, and now I need to just get the department information. So how do I get the information of department information of this user? I'm going to user this, but there's no department information here. So how do I get that? So for getting that, I need to add a connector. It's a very simple, useful connector. So I go to data sources and go to add data, list of connectors. And the connector that the, you want to use for this purpose is called Office 365 users. And that's how you will find the list of users and some of their profile information. So I'm just adding this connector here. And this connector will make our life very easy. So now I'm going to go here. And now since I've added this connector, I'll say Office 365 users dot. And I need, uh, so it has uh, very uh, useful methods here, like direct reports, manager. Uh, for some of my client, I had done some prototype where we had created an org chart. And if you guys are interested, I can do a video to show you how to do that where I use direct reports and manager. Um, but in this case, I will just use my profile. My profile means whoever is the signed in user, just get their profile information. 
Power Apps has given two methods here, My Profile and My Profile V2. I thought that Profile V2 might be more mature, but uh, to my surprise, Profile V2 doesn't seem to be very mature and ready. It was giving me errors, so let's stick to My Profile. And that's it, it doesn't take any argument because it means whoever is signed in. And let's see what profile information we can get. So we can get more information like city, company name, country. So all whatever information has been set about this user in the Active Directory, you can get all that information. But for this demo, for this video, I'm just going to use department. And that's it. It's as simple as that. Now you can find the uh, full name, the display name, and the department information of the user who has signed in. So that was very simple, but now what do you do if you want to implement something like this where uh, you don't want to find department just for the signed in user, but for any user email or any user that you might want to know about. So for that, it's uh, very simple. Let me, in the same screen, let me add another control text input. That's where uh, you can type the user for who you want to find the department and uh, maybe just to make it slightly clear I'll add a label here just to say what is this text input for and I'll give a hint to the user saying that enter email of the person uh, in your org and here instead of text input i'll maybe leave it blank here i'll give some hint text, hint text here and i'll say uh, email of the person uh, actually i don't need to put the quotes here for the hint text and now i need to just put another label here where I can show similar information. So now I will say department of and let's see which user and let's say we want to show the uh, user for which we have put the email so department of and now we want to find that user display name so I'll use the same connector again office 365 users dot and I will use this time I will not use my profile because my profile will give you information only for the signed in user. I want to get this for any user. So I will say user profile again, like I said, for my profile, user profile also has two versions, my profile and sorry, user profile and user profile V2. Uh, V2 doesn't seem to be working well. So just stick to user profile. This time it takes an argument. So it takes the argument which is what is the user ID, which could be principal name or email ID. Uh, and where are we going to get the email ID from? From the entry of this text input box. And the name of this text input is text input one. Ideally, I should have renamed it, but for this demo, I'll just leave it as that. So let's take whatever user has typed here. So text input one dot one dot text and so this should give the profile object of this user. Now we want to find the department information. So just like my profile, you get different attributes of this user profile. We want to stick to department. As you will see, there's nothing that shows up here because this email thing is empty right now. So I'm now going to start typing something. So if I type this, as you will see, seems like we did not get the display name so yeah I started with something in mind but I did not do it so I first wanted to get the display name so I'll just copy this and I'll say of instead of department first I want to show the full name or display name so I'll say display name and then I'll say is and this okay so we found that now if i change it to something else as you can see here as i change the email address you find the name of the user and the department um, i can make it slightly more fancy and instead of this being empty all the time by default 
I can also put the default as whoever is the signed in user. So I'll say user email. So now uh, by default, you'll always have the email of the person who signed in, but you can always change it. So I'll say, Raju, we set this as Ricky, Ricky, and that's it. So it's as simple as that. So I hope this was useful. Uh, you just have to think about this connector, Office 365 users, and just remember two important methods, my profile for getting the profile and the department of the user who signed in, or user profile uh, where if you want to find out the department or any other user profile attribute of uh, user by email hope you found it useful if you have any question or feedback please leave them in the comment box below if you need any other help if you want me to create some video on any other topic please let me know email me or uh, just leave them in the comment uh, hopefully this is useful if you like these kind of videos please subscribe to my channel Thank you so much. Have a great day.